Hi there, I want to share with you one thing about self-love that a lot of people don't tend to think about. Quite often my clients will come to me in a therapy session and they'll say, you know, I, I do, I'm really good to myself. I, I practice self-love. I, I, you know, I, I go to the gym. Um, I have lots of nice sort of bubble baths and I, you know, pamper myself and I, you know, I eat well. And These are all great things to do. They really are. But there's an added ingredient because these things are self-care and self-love is about self-care plus. And the plus is how we talk to ourselves. If you are watching your diet and you know eating well, taking exercise, going to the gym, doing all those lovely things for yourself, that will definitely help you to feel great. But if you're also criticizing yourself and judging yourself and saying mean things to you, yourself, it's kind of going to bring you down again, isn't it? How we talk to ourselves is supremely important. If you are judging and criticizing and putting yourself down, you're going to knock your own confidence. And I often say to clients, imagine there was a small child next to you. Would you look down at that child and tell them off and tell them they were rubbish and tell them that they were no good and why did they fail? And you knew they'd never make it and you knew they wouldn't do this and there they go again. Well, if you did, that child would grow up with no confidence. They wouldn't feel confident at all. You'd be knocking their confidence. So why do you talk to yourself like that? And we all do this from time to time. The more you practice noticing when you're doing it and speaking to yourself in loving, kind, reassuring ways, the more confident you'll feel, the happier you'll feel. And actually, it'll become second nature after a while of practicing it. You won't do that self-critical stuff. And on the odd occasion you do it, you'll notice it pretty quickly and you'll be able to change it. We all have a little child within us who at one point in life possibly was criticized. Let's face it, some parents aren't able to do a great job. Other parents do do a great job, but they still have off days and they get stressed and they say something to their child that perhaps they wouldn't have done at another point in time. So everybody has some level of criticism or judgment or something in their growing up years and they tend to integrate that and then they tend to sort of turn it back around on themselves and they keep repeating it. That's why it's so important to learn to talk to yourself, that inner child in loving ways. One thing you can do is to think back, did you have a nickname as a child? And if you did say, you know, whatever your nickname was, you're doing great, it's fine. Because by using that nickname, you're getting straight into the subconscious to that inner child. If you didn't have a nickname, you can just call yourself little whatever. So little Mary or little Joe, or whatever your name is. So that's another way of connecting with that inner child and saying loving, kind things to them. Tell yourself you're doing okay. Tell yourself you're fine. Give yourself lots of love and add that to the self-care and then you'll be super confident. You'll have fantastic experiences in your relationships where you feel loved and connected and respected. And you'll be able to set those boundaries in your life and you'll find that you're really quite successful in the things you want to do because you feel confident. A lot of these things comes down to how you talk to yourself. So notice if you're not being very kind to yourself in your thoughts, start saying kind things to you. If you like this video, please do hit the thumbs up like button and that way other people can see it and they will get the benefit of it too. So you're helping me to help them. Hit subscribe as well. That way you'll know when new videos are coming up. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on self-love, self-care, self-talk. 
what your experiences are. Can you be a bit negative to yourself as we all can? Have you learnt not to do that? Have you learnt loving things to say to yourself? What's your experience? Share with me in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.